Hey everybody, uh, today we're going to talk about another one arm offset variation. Uh, yesterday we talked about the ipsilateral loaded offset single leg RDL. Today we're going to talk about the contralateral loaded single leg RDL. Boom, just like that. Okay, so what's different here? If I shift the weight in the opposite hand of the leg that's working, contralateral, that's what that means, um, I need to shift more into the hip to maintain my balance, right? So it requires more hip mobility, specific, so specifically hip adduction and internal rotation. That's what keeps my center of mass over this foot because this is trying to pull me over and I need to shift to maintain my balance, right? Um, in doing that, I'm demanding more mobility. So if you don't have it, don't try to force yourself through it. It seems like a, a nice, like it looks just like walking, right? So I like this variation for most people, but I'll still give ipsilateral variations because I think it's a nice way to learn how to load the leg and, you know, still get a training effect while working on good um, mechanics. Generally though, I'm trying to do opposite patterns, right? So as I bend over, my leg flexes up, my other arm reaches towards that leg. It's just like a walk, just like a march, just like running, which is just like a march. Um, yes, other things that are different. So outside of just more mobility being required here, if I have the weight over here, I'm putting stress on this ab. And now to keep this ab, it needs to stay on because it needs to control everything. But I also need this hip to help me out. And it needs to help me out even more in lieu of this because I can't let this take over while I'm doing this exercise. That's something you might see. You might see someone listing their upper body over this side because they can't get their hip over enough. They can't screw into that hip and turn on the glute and bring the pelvic bone up to turn on the glute even more to maintain their balance. The only way they can maintain their balance then is by listing this way. And you'll feel a lot of inner thigh. You'll feel the foot flatten. You'll feel the arch of the foot, um, but not in a good way. <laughs> So if you are seeing that, try to cue this, uh, try to cue the left hip up a little bit more to bring the right hip down a little bit more to shut the right ab off a little bit more to turn the right glute on a little bit more. So what I'm doing with this is those are the things I'm thinking about as a coach to get the right position. But what I'm asking clients is, do you feel your glute? If you don't feel your glute, try to hike up a little bit more, try to exhale and hold that position and then just hang on to it. You could sit here until you feel it, right? And once you do feel it, then you can start going. Or you can just start going and try to find it. I hope you find it, right? That's okay to do too. Not every rep is perfect. Not every set is perfect. Um, give it a shot though. Practice it.